Hello, right, a new season and a new set of 10 different liveries. But what do the pundits think? Martin Brundle and Naomi Schiff are here to discuss and debate with me. There are five categories from A to E. I believe that you've got to have at least one in all of those categories. So what are we going to do? We start alphabetical order or just the, the, the order that they've arrived in that pile? No, what we're <laughs> going to do is start with what are we actually looking for here? Because okay. when you see the cars launched under the lights, a lot of them are fake cars actually yeah. with their liveries. They look fantastic because they're it's like a car in a showroom basically, isn't it? But then on a dull day at Spa or Silverstone, you want a car, I think, that jumps out of the track a little bit, looks good in stills images, looks good in moving images personally, but what do you look for? I tend to like a car with a colour that really pops. Something that when you look on track you can spot it from a mile away. So if it's got something distinctive that's personal, I like that. So Alfa Tari's first on, on the pile here. Um, quite distinctive, <laughs> isn't it? You know exactly which car that is as it's coming along the track, I'd have said. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking middle of the road C at the moment. I think what's nice about this one is that from actually from the side, it really complements the shape of the car, the livery. They've done a good Great. job, but I personally think the colours are a bit dull. The contrast is not strong, is it? So we have C, D. Yeah, you're right. Let's start with C and C. We can always move it. There we go. Next up then, well, it's got two different colour schemes this year, hasn't it? So yeah. Majoring on pink and then going on to majoring on blue. Blue, yes. Quite, quite nice. Quite strong, the branding, but I guess that's what it's for, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think that's a car that definitely stands out. Yeah. And would you be shocked if I said I prefer the pink version? <laughs> uh, I think no. I prefer the pink version as well. Yeah. The pink Panthers and, and Otmar's clearly yeah. brought brought the pink with him. Yes. So uh, that's feeling like a bit of a B. Yes, you know, I agree. To me. It looks fast. Now, the Macca. You know, now, that's really strong, isn't it? Strong colourways. Yeah. A bit bitty, I thought, in terms of, you know, here and there, in terms of the black. Uh, especially on the side, you can't see it on this one, but it's got a black stripe. But then yeah. the sponsors jump out, which yeah. is another key element. But what do you think? I'm thinking C. I think they've really done, obviously, their colours really, really stand out. You're not going to miss that car on track. But I'm not sure that from the side it really complements the mm. car. And like you say, there's well, that the black stripe. stripe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's say middle of the road for now. You're going to yeah. put it between a B and a C. You put it there. Allowed? B and a half. Okay, it is B and a half. I, 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 I really like that. I mean, yeah. not that I'm, yeah. not that anyone cares what I think, but I think that's right near the top of the pile. In fact, uh, since they've gone papaya, yeah. you have to think, <laughs> alluding to all the old Can Am cars and the original yeah. Bruce McLaren's. I, I, I think, think, I think I would definitely have put it B. There, if yeah. I'm honest. See? Yeah. Swayed. Yeah. Okay, I agree. Right. Classic Ferrari then. I mean, you can't go wrong. Quite a lot of black on the car. I don't like the way that the halo is done in black because it makes it stand out a little bit in yeah. some respects. Um, I'm thinking that's an A livery. I don't know. It's just, can you go wrong or red? I the love detail. the actual red yeah. on it. Sponsors stand out well. Stands out. My line about, you know, on a grey day at Silverstone, yeah. which cars are you going to actually see? Otherwise, they get lost in the tarmac. But, um, but one thing that doesn't stand out is the racing number there. I think that should probably have yeah. been white. Not a lot of, not a huge amount of contrast on it. It's all going to be Bs and Cs, oh, this, isn't it? Okay. So put it there. But we're okay. not talking detailing, are we, at all? This is just simply living. Yeah. So let's just be clear okay. about that. I mean, this, the Red Bull, it's got a sponsor on the front wing now, hasn't it? Not yeah. saying anything about the sponsor, but yeah. it looks a bit like a London bus yeah. with sort of advertising on it. Uh, these front wings on, on a lot of the cars do. I mean, that one, look. Um, McLaren have lost theirs a little bit. Alpha Tari, but the colours don't contrast that much. But Ferrari hasn't really done that though, that much. No, no. I and that's that, a Red Bull. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, it's distinctly a Red Bull, isn't yeah. it? You, you know what you're going to get with them. I think the, for me, that's a C because I don't like the way the advertising's gone on it. Okay. Uh, okay. Arguing with that? I don't know. I think I maybe would have put that one in a B and the Ferrari yeah. in an A, but let's go with this. I'm yeah, also. Okay. I would have liked to see something slightly different. It's just like. Yeah. It's been like that Expected, for years. Expected, right? You've got to fill yeah, the yeah, others, yeah. yeah. Mercedes, I love the way that the stripe, the Petronas stripe down the side, elongates the car, follows the form of the car, clear differentiation, bit of red on there. It doesn't jump out on the track, watching the, the testing mm -hmm. on Sky F1. Mm -hmm. It didn't jump out of the track quite mm -hmm. like I thought it would, actually, but... I quite like, we're going to have to move some of these. We're going to struggle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, moving, moving back to silver, right? They're, they're, they're the silver yeah. arrows and you know, what, yeah. do you, what do you think of that? Did you prefer it in black or did you prefer it in silver? I personally prefer it in silver. I think yeah. there were times when I watched the footage on, on TV last year where I sort of confused the Mercedes with the Aston. Yeah. When, you, when it wasn't exactly. very close, the colour just wasn't that obvious. Yeah. So I prefer this. Okay. Yeah. 
I, I tweeted that I thought this was always the best livery. Yeah. So I'm, I'm at least <laughs> going to have to put it, it there <laughs> until you guys disagree. With me. <laughs> to be fair, that's the only car I've actually seen in person so far, yeah. and it looks lovely. Okay. So yeah. I think that's uh, good it's there for now. It's very elegantly done, but it's not quite as strong on track as I'd hope. Right. Um, the Gloss is, over the colour scheme. The house is a bit simple, isn't it? Yeah. A bit straightforward. Yeah. A bit. Yeah. Not uh, loving it. That'll it's... develop. Are we going there? Because we've got to put one. Yeah, I think let's put that one there for now because it Apologies doesn't do anything hash, special. We've got to put one in every Yeah, category. we have to, yeah. Yeah. Now, the last of I them. might shock you here because this only came out last night. Yesterday, yeah. as, we're, yeah. as we're sitting here. I think you like the it, Alpha has gone straight to number one. Yeah, you like I it. do agree. That red really pops. Yeah. And just the way they've used the colours, and I love mm. the way the white is around the driver area, yep. yeah. and the way that the the clover leaf and the logos are on it, and it, I think that'll stand out on the track. Reminds me a little bit of Senna in a McLaren, a little bit. They got they got a bit of work to I'm do. I'm not though. arguing there. No, they've got a bit of work to <laughs> do. <though. laughs> yeah, yes, they have. Yes. But livery-wise, the livery -wise, yeah. it looks lovely. Yeah. Now I haven't seen this in the flesh, the Williams, but people say it's a lovely colour scheme. But for me, it's. That's just going to get lost in the tarmac. Yeah. The blue. Well, you've got to fill D. Then so how do you fill it? That, that's why I, <laughs> okay. I was going to okay. put that there. But okay. then I've, people say stunning colour scheme, but maybe when it's launched or you're st yeah. standing alongside it, but even there, look, it doesn't, you know, j just even on that whiteboard, it doesn't, doesn't jump really stand out, out, does it? No, no. you're right. But maybe but it's I just the way it's shot. It also looks quite similar to the Alpine there, doesn't it? Mm. I love the green of the. I completely agree Aston. with um, that lovely. Yeah, and that that's got the accentuating yes. line. Mm -hmm. Does it sing racing green though? Does it sing Aston Martin kind of racing green? No, yeah. I think that that's a spectacular colour. Personally, yeah. 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 I don't know how it will be on my grey day at Spa, rainy <laughs> day at Spa. Yeah. yeah. Um, criteria, but I don't think it's an A. You don't? You think Ooh, it's an A? Oh, I do. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to have the deciding vote here because I'm going um, to stay neutral as always. Well, we've got one in each category, we so we've, yeah, so we've done the job. That, that but where you like, really. Naomi, if you like it, let's get it right to the top again. Yeah, I think it has others. to go at the top. But yeah. Martin does have the deciding vote, so... Um, okay, it's going, it's going there then. <laughs> Great, yeah. So, let's go so yeah, the okay, A comparatively, you think that that's worse so can I come? than the Mercedes and the Alpha? I d it doesn't do it for me in quite the same way that the Mercedes and the Alfa do. Okay. It's one of those punching above its weight. Yeah, it's I'd the, put the McLaren above it. It's the, would you? Yeah, and, I, and maybe the yeah. Ferrari, I don't know. I, you look, I the other ones pop, don't you. they, as you're saying, but they're talking about standing out on track. Yeah. Papaya, pink and red, probably yeah. on a grey day, might stand out more, more, but it's still a lovely looking car, isn't it? If it was my choice, it would be a firm B. But and maybe the even the McLaren goes A, B. Are you prepared to acquiesce here? Maybe you're pre are you prepared to give this one away? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think Martin has the final say, but I would definitely put that one in, in the A block. Would you? Yes. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's no, just. I'm going to do that. Oh. <laughs> Followed by that. Overruled. Okay. Well, Overruled. I can agree with this. This I agree with. Yeah. Yeah. This I agree with. Okay. Well, we've got six categories then. So yeah, it's a bit that, of give and take there. That's more interesting, isn't it? These are a little bit monotone in that respect. But doesn't that, that Aston have a metallic paint to it that sort of shines in the sun? It'll look amazing in Singapore, for example, yeah, and any of the nice, night yeah. races. Yeah, a nice sunny day. Yeah. We'll have to revisit this when we see them yeah. in all weather types. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to give you the final move. The final move things yeah. around? Yeah. Okay, let me see what I think definitely needs to move. You're going to put the house right to the top here, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you no, to, I think that one's good where it is. Let's okay. move this one here. All right. Yeah. Feeling a bit guilty about that. I, but, I agree. But with the um, <laughs> but there's a lot of guilt. This is not an easy. The advertising on it doesn't work. At the I think consolation prize is that they're the world champions at the moment. So there we are. Yeah. That I think that's pretty good. Mercedes, Alpha, and Aston just leading it over the A minus of McLaren. Well done. Yeah. You're wedded to that now. <laughs>